All right, to get this look going, I laid a thin layer of white down using the NYX foundation mixer just to pale out my skin tone. I was requested to try and make a hunter look without the use of latex, so this will be my attempt to make that possible. Hunters are a bit of a hard one to find really good eye references for, so there's a bit of room for creative license here. His skin seems to have a mix of greens and purples along it, so to create those tones, I started by mixing an olive green shade and using it with a stippling sponge to apply it in a messy, uneven fashion around the lower part of my face and down onto my neck. Then mixing a wine red color with white, I also stippled on a faded purple tone in the same areas. We're back from the dead. To start shaping out the ripped eye area, I used a water activated red face paint and a small detail brush and then just jaggedly pulled that around my eyes in a circular shape and filled that in with the same color. I then also used it with the stipple sponge to add texture around the mouth and eye ribs. <laughs> With another small brush, I picked up a matte black eyeshadow and focused that color to the edges of the red around my eyes. I pulled it down and outwards as I went to create some veining coming out from the eyes. And I kept with a crazy small brush for this because it allowed me to just move the brush randomly and create more textured effects that made sense for an exposed flesh or muscle tissue look. I was happy to go a little bit more heavy handed with the black along the top parts of the eyes. Since most of a hunter's eyes and forehead are covered by their hoods, I like the idea of making the makeup in general get a little bit darker as you move up. I quickly applied black to my water lines and then took the black shadow again and dusted it along my cheeks to make my face appear a bit more square in shape and have the cheeks more hallowed in appearance. I also applied the black to my forehead just to kind of create an even stronger shadow should you look up or your hood was to slip throughout the night. With the dark wine color again, I worked to darken the mouth area and add some irritation around the nose and underneath it. I used a bit of the black cream makeup as well just to kind of darken the inner area of my lips and add some extra shading under the nose. I did a little bit of the same veining I did around the eyes, just around the mouth, extending from my lips. And then because the colors in the game are a very vibrant red, I patted on a bit more of the original red aqua paint to brighten everything. To help with the ripped skin illusion around the eyes, I just went in with a white water activated paint and added that to all of the edges to kind of create a bit of a reflect along the skin. To add the much needed blood for the hunter, I used both a thick scab blood and an edible blood to go in the mouth. For the scab blood, I used my spatula to add it to the edged areas of the eyes to better create that idea of torn skin. And then I also used it to apply under my nose since it won't drip or move throughout the time wearing it and it'll keep its bloody shine. Let's go. And for the not so fun part, I just kind of squirted in a bunch of the edible blood to my mouth and swished it around. Something to note, just because it's edible does not mean it has any good taste to it. <laughs> this stuff will obviously not last all night, so if you're gonna use it, you might wanna bring a little jug of the blood with you to keep that effect going. <laughs> Last step is to add a hoodie. Uh, he actually has a dark blue hoodie. I just couldn't find one, so my gray one was my substitute. But that is it for my Left 4 Dead Hunter. I hope you enjoyed, guys, and I will see you next video. Hell yeah.